Hello everyone, welcome back to Melanie's journal and today we're going to set up the month of May So I'm going to spread over here And for this month, uh, we're actually going to go to the burrow and to the Weasleys I'm going to give you a quick flip through of some of the drawings I've made so far Really excited about this one. Um, I love, I think almost everybody loves the Weasley family. Um, and so it's just really fun just to get all the uh, weird stuff that they have in their house, but also having that cozy, cozy feel. And of course, um, the Fort Anglia, just having the Weasley family. And there'll be quite a few references to different types of movies um, and also in the books. Um, for example, Harry's birthday cake from the seventh year when he turned 17. A stack of sweaters, Ron's bedroom with chubby cannons, just like that. But we're first going to do our cover page, and as always, I've painted that on a different sheet of paper, which is right here. I have the lovely view of the burrow. So we're going to start off, color this in, um, and then uh, stick it in. But I'll show you how I uh, do that in the process. What I usually do, I always start with the background colors. Um, and then working in the detail as I go along. But yeah, let's get started.
So here the main painting is done. I'm just going to go in with some final metallic details to finish it all off. Very happy how it turned out. I'm kind of keeping it this rather more loose style. I think it really helps with the whole like, you know, spring going into summer atmosphere uh, and also just with the borrow feeling itself. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing this um, and you will see the final result in just a second. So here is the final page in my notebook with the month of May on there. Really happy how it turned out. I just like the overall atmosphere. Very burry in my own humble opinion. Um, and now we're going to go on to the next page, the goals page. Here we have the monthly goals and social media page. And as you can see on the side here, that we have a jar of flu powder. Uh, because we got introduced to that at the Weasley's house when Harry used it incorrectly uh, to get to Diagon Alley. Uh, but I really liked just having a simple piece here um, and having the flames um, as well. Um, and those who play Hogwarts Legacy will know about uh, Ignatia Willsmith, the creator of Flu Powder. I'm going to cover the back with some washi tape as I always do. And this one is from the washi tape shop. And I thought it really just, I know, had some Weasley colors and with the wheat and the foiling. So we're gonna cover that up and then I'll come back to you and we're gonna color in the flute powder. So there the background is done. We're now gonna color it in. It's going to be a very simple color palette. Just some green for the flute powder and a little bit of the uh, jar decoration. Here's a finished goals, goals piece with some of the shine from the flu powder. This is always a very simple page, but I also always really like it. 
So yeah, now we're gonna go on to the mood tracker page. So here's the habit and mood tracker page. Um, as you can see, I use all the washi tape just to line all the boxes. Um, and here we have a very comfortable looking armchair with a blanket. It's an inner blanket and it's going to be the mood tracker of this month. Very happy how this one uh, turned out and I had this plan for a very long time. So it's always quite really nice when you once you get to it. Um, the color scheme is going to be very simple. I'm going to color it in the background, which is a simple color in the chair. Um, and then you will see the different types of colors that I will use to show off my mood for uh, that particular day. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to color it in and you will see the final result. And here the habit and mood tracker is done. Really love the chair. I actually have a similar one in my own home. So I just wanted to go off the colors there. And I just love all the multicolored yarn. I think it would be definitely be something that Mrs. Weasley would use. So yeah, here are the trackers for this month. Now we're gonna go on to the first uh, weekly of this month. So for the first weekly, here we have an interior view of the Weasley house with in particular their magical clock. Um, and this clock uh, shows different locations over here where family members are. So it's not a very traditional clock, but it's very cool nonetheless with some very vibrant and bright colors. Uh, so we're gonna start coloring in that. And the rest is just a few reference pictures that I threw together also, as well as just some extra details. Um, that I found and I just want to add a plant because I know I have a feeling their house would be just very Green warm and inviting just as the movies really um, Depict it to be it looks to be a very lovely lovely place. So but let's get started We have a lot to color um, And I'm going to show you the process
The main painting is done, I'm now going to go in with some metallic details to finish it all off. Here is the finished weekly of the Weasley House and especially their clock. Now the other weeklies I'm going to do off camera but I will show you them during the final flip through. We're now going to go on to the mind map page. And here we have the mind map page of May and it's a portrait of the Weasley family. Um, I kind of combine a few things here, um, of course, Pyramids of Egypt, where they went during Harry's uh, third uh, year summer. Um, but I did want to make them a little bit older just to get a bit more of their personalities in there. Um, and it's a complete picture of the family. Um, so spoilers for, the, for those who know the books and the movies. Um, and I just try to make everyone as like, um, distinguished um, as best as possible. It's so very happy how this looks right now um, and I'm sure you will enjoy the final result.
And here we have the finished piece of our beloved Weasley family in Egypt. I'm going to put it into my journal and then give you the final flip through of the month of May. And here we have the final flip through of the month of May. So we have a beautiful view of the burrow. The goals page with some flu powder. The habit and mood tracker page with a comfortable chair and one of Molly's creations as a mood tracker. The first weekly with the clock of the Weasleys. The second weekly is the Fort Anglia with uh, Harry, Ron and Fred and George when they pick up Harry. Well, they're free Harry, actually. The inside of the Weasleys, their breakfast table with also a birthday snitch cake for Harry during his seventh winter and 17. And then we have Ron's room with his Charlie Cannon's decorations and the room that uh, is basically Harry's bedroom as well. Also a Hedwig and Pigwidgeon on there and just a few little other attributes such as uh, the chessboard. This is a signed autograph of Victor Crumb. Uh, and here we have a teddy bear and uh, for the book readers probably, probably know that Ron's fear of spiders comes from the time when Fred and George um, transfigured his teddy bear into a giant spider. And then finally, on the main my page, we have the Weasley family in Egypt. From left to right, we have George, Ron, Percy, Arthur, Molly, Charlie, Ginny, Bill, and Fred. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing this setup. I'm very excited to start filling it out. Um, I love the Weasleys, as I said before, and I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this uh, setup. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next month. Bye-bye.